Look at this. This helmet could save the lives of hundreds of thousands of athletes. And here's the amazing thing. The inventor of that helmet is barely out of the eighth grade. Isn't that incredible? New at 5, 10 News reporter Joe Little reveals the simple item the San Diego boy used to protect athletes on the football field. Ryan Beck may be holding a lifesaver. This is right here where the temporal lobe would be. It's the part of your brain that controls your body and memory, and concussions disrupt that control. Getting a concussion is like running with just your bare skull into a wall going 20 miles per hour. While watching a football game, Beck decided to design something to protect the brain. This is an outer padded helmet using an anti-fatigue foam. This helmet just won third place in the state science fair. Beck, D3O, who uses words I can't spell, second impact syndrome, in these little axons are microtubules, is only 13. The hydrophobic anti-fatigue foam. He just graduated from the eighth grade. I could say I was okay at science. Beck decided to look at how football players get hurt. They either hit face mask to face mask or helmet to helmet, never almost like that. Constant collisions like these can result in chronic traumatic encephalopathy, which is what Charger great Junior Seau had. Beck decided to look at different foams to put on the outside of the helmet. He compared collisions using a pendulum and a pressure sensor. He demonstrated the impact for 10 News. The winner? The hydrophobic anti-fatigue foam. The same foam people stand on to relieve back pain. It cut the impact of this collision from 33 G's to about 15. Which is a 55% reduction. It could save lives on the pro level, but Beck wants kids to start wearing it too. They need to be protected just as much as the older players. It could put a dent in the 300,000 sports-related brain injuries every year. An impressive invention from a 13-year-old who's only okay at science. Joe Little, 10 News. He's got a bright future. Ryan says he is looking into a patent for his new invention. In the meantime, he was one of 300 students invited to compete in a nationwide science fair. Good luck to him.